Right then, you see that? Zenon, <coughs> Tuesdays. I know there's a cupboard in the way. But anyway, uh, 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 uh. this is just stuff in my coach, in my den. And this was like, had to be emptied immediately because I'm going to show you now in a moment why it had to be emptied immediately and why I'm talking like this because uh, you'll find right so what it is no warning whatsoever not even nothing a knock on the door scaffold has arrived Wednesday, we come to do your house. I'm like, what? Anyway, it's free, government thing. So, uh, yeah, I've had to sort of pull my finger out. The house is absolutely tipped upside down. This year is uh, eventually, in you know, 30 years' time when I get the money, <laughs> going to be, that's a patio at the moment, risky extension. So I've had to get a skip because, uh, I've had to empty my coach and sort my life out and I've not yet started clearing the attic because these guys want to go in the attic but anyway the primary thing is just maybe pull my finger out and start pushing forward with the studio so if I can get back a bit I'm just doing this rough cut thing for my friends in Sweden and my friends in America so uh, there's Ruby, one year old today. Ruby, you are one year old today. It's your birthday. Carl's, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, chase a fly, Ruby, one year old today. Hey, happy birthday, chase a fly, Ruby, with Fred Lloyd Skip. Right. So, uh, sorry about all this jerky jerky. Yeah, I've just had to like cram everything in here. So there's like I covered up all the PA, all the disco gear, and all that. Had to uh, get this. Oh, here we go. The real, the real is already paid. She's mint. She's ready to roll. I'll just put her in the cupboard for the time being. There's yeah, uh, yeah, guy junk, guy junk. With the vintage phone, hey, <laughs> got another one up in the attic. I've not started clearing up the attic yet because uh, I have to clear other things first. And uh, yeah, so what's that? Oh yeah, there's some tunes I got. Some uh, uh, vinyl and stuff. Right, uh, this is what is cool. And stop the camera and spread some of these out. Right, and still at the puff. That's the box. Uh, but use uh, samples, okay? Now, this collection is all the genuine articles. Uh, excuse me for being a puff man. But, uh, I've been a hoarder all my life. And I've had to clean everything out. That's where we got the skip. There's that much stuff. Uh, I'm forgetting this. How I acquired this lot here. Uh, well, I found a sword stick. A very valuable sword stick. It had silver and ivory around the handle. And I picked it up. It was underneath some floorboards, it was. I spotted it. I picked it up and uh, I twisted it and pulled out this sword of guys it was a derelict building it was and the boss man was there and there was a nice bit of kit all there spotted him and he said to me the boss man he said I'm having it I said fair enough and I said to him I'm having all them badges that's all heaped up in the corner. And he went down. And half he went with his sword stick, which is totally illegal in this country unless you register it down there. There's too much aggro having a sword stick. 
nice bit of kit mine I was quite happy having the badges all of the originals look at that I don't know what I'm going to do with them <laughs> hoard them is the thing yeah. there's the uh, topical one look. Jagged and Richards yeah but uh, anyway there's absolutely God knows no one knows anything here. Uh, my plan was well my plan was to get them sick I got all this to sort out all the reels to reels my hands took the damn art well this is going to be the studio that's going to be the uh, toilet eventually and blah 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 that's all going to be happening I promise care if I do a film I'm sweating like an Adam's dap yeah. right then some of you are going to find this totally and utterly boring but I'm doing it anyway please know I'm absolutely knackered we've, we've been through all that take a deep breath this is for the anally retentive, okay, right? In case you're into it, because there's quite a few people who have shown interest. That there is going to be the toilet, right? I've got a door to go on there. I've got to line it all out. I've worked it all out. And this room is going to be my actual studio. I've still got to do the ceiling, right? There's loft, ins there's special insulation to go on top of that insulation that's been boarded, etc., etc. And the webcam that I'm having fitted, don't know when mine, I've got to get the next load of wedge from somewhere but anyway, it's going to be up on the ceiling, high definition, one of those that you can control right, remotely and have a look round now I haven't cleaned my attic out yet, I've got neon lights up there, American ones I've got petrol uh, pump heads, American ones, Chevrolet and stuff like that which I want to create an actual scene and then your, your disc jockey scenario thing will go on in the middle. I've got that reel to reel that you saw in the cupboard. Uh, I've got SL1200 uh, decks. I could, could go on and rattle it. I've got shed loads of stuff. But anyway, let's move on. Because I'm one of those guys that once I've got the brief and I'm in, it's in my head, I just get on with it. And. Uh, Unless you're there following it, it's difficult to sort of keep up the speed. But quite a few people have been, uh, come on, Les, when's it going to happen? And, and I've been sort of saying, well, and then life happens, finances, and it slows you all down. But anyway, this is good. I've got to have that shelved out across there. I've worked it all up with the shelving. Behind here at the moment is uh, 18 bows, 802s, 4 bins, all the amp racks. Alan and Heath mix a desk, blah blah blah, and a shared load of CDs. This wood here, uh, put five coats, no, yeah, five coats on the outside. I finished it like that. Now, this is going to be fitted on the back of the gates, which I'm going to show you in a moment. And then, once it's fitted, I'm going to put a mat over it. I have to get an effect like a flight case, and then I'm going to get some. Uh, flight case trim from a mate of mine don't care if and the back of the gates I'm having done like one big flight case it's going to be the biggest flight case in Wales but anyway that's the gates they're out here but that is, it was my boy's birthday so uh, we did uh, happy birthday on the back of them it don't matter I had to paint it anyway so that blackout stuff is going to be put over those gates and then that is going to be like a massive flight case that's all one that's what's with my head and i'm having it now the floor i've been working with uh, a mate of mine chuck on the odd occasion he has oh, been working on movies like with russell crowe and people like that and he's like a proper set painter guy been to college been to university and everything like you know and uh, so this floor he showed me how to do it I'm going to do one, I'm going to do it like, um, well, I'm going to finish it so as it looks like a, a proper old English 
patio with all the slabs and everything. It's going to be painted, I'm going to treat it and all that. It'll be bulletproof by the time I finished. Be able to drive a car in it a lot. So, what you've got then is all that finished. Pucker. Enough room there for a couple of vehicles. That's the flight case. And then down there, this year I did. Um, it's gone through a winter. We've had this baking heat with 16 coats on it. I'm supposed to put a couple more of ultraviolet reflection stuff on there. But to be honest though, I haven't had time, but I will get around to it. Plus I've got to put gutters on the back and all that. So there's 16 coats put on there to get that effect. And um, preserve it and everything like, you know. Because when people come, we want it looking the bollocks. Because first impression, that is it. So when they come into the yard to talk turkey, yeah, they'll think, hello, this bloke, like he means it, boy. <laughs> so yeah, it's lovely done it as well. <laughs> yeah, it's all happening. This, man, I just don't believe this. This is like spare shit I had. Oh, God. Keeping boxes, they could keep the, keep shit like that. And, and there were shoe boxes and there's hats. How many hats are guys? I don't know. And then there's there's weights and there's like broken mic stands and it goes on and other shit and other shit. I mean that's a pretty big that's just a shit out of my van. <laughs> and one room on the house and my shit was under the head. So I gotta get it all out the way now. Because these boys doing the house, they're pushing me to pull my finger out and start cracking on. So uh got a couple of jobs under my belt, just took a day job. I'm not doing any disc jockeying at the moment as such because I gotta get this finished and sorted to make it easier for me to do a gig. I've got to get it like a Swiss watch rather than taking 27 hours to do a gig. Do you know what I mean? People don't realise the amount of work that goes on. Not take me in the house because that's a tip. <laughs> but anyway, uh, God, I gotta give it to them, but they're full. That's full of like, oh, God, dumbass shit. And uh, yeah, I gotta work out where it lags. I've gotta go. Neck, I forgot about that. Ah, this is how my brain works, and then it happens. But anyway, please enjoy. Once again, Groovy, Groovy. She wants to go out. Yeah. She has not mind. Go, is it, Groovy? <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah. Anyway, more stuff later. Things to do. Yeah, I'm just doing a little footnote here. Yeah. I really, I'd like to show you the house, but to be perfectly honest with you. It's like World War Three, because when the builders came, they wanted the airing cupboard emptied, and they wanted the kutch emptied, and they got the attic emptied, the front garden, they've had to rip out like all of the edges, and this, that, and the other, and it's like, oh my God. So anyway, it'll look cool when it's done, won't it? I mean, come on, give me a couple of weeks, and this is gonna look like yeah, man. Anyway, um, the name. I don't have a name. Several bouncing around at the moment, but uh, I paint that as well. The shit on that. Trans-Global Amnesia. <laughs>